glad you could join me today. You ready to do a fantastic little painting? Real good. Now we'll take a one inch brush and back to one of our golden rules. It takes dark in order to show light. There they are. Look at them little rascals. Isn't that unreal that you can do that in such a quick, quick stroke? Now, very gently, whisper light. There. A little bit over here. I think we've mentioned this before, but you need to have a very, very firm paint to do this. If you have a thin, oily paint, you're really going to get into some problem areas because you've become a mud mixer. You need a paint that's strong, firm, dry. Okay, we'll give this one a little shadow right there. So he stands out as an individual. Okay. Just bring this on down. Let your imagination just wander around when you're doing these things. because I could find freedom on this canvas. There we go. There's absolute freedom here. And I think we're all looking for freedom. At least I am. See how you can pull that down? Just pull it right down, and because there's, because there's liquid white under here, it mixes with it, the paint will move, and automatically it gets lighter in value. You could do it. There. Mm, already, just using brush strokes, you can see all kinds of fantastic shapes in these, these mountains. And by using these brush strokes, see how you can pull out shapes and change them, remove them? That easy. It's a super way to lay out your entire range of mountains without being committed. You cannot make a mistake in here. Okay. Now, let me... Wash the old brush so it's nice and clean and fresh and ready. There. And the more of them that you do, the better you're going to be at, at painting them. So you push that brush down so it bends and makes all those little hangy downs under the limbs. All kinds of little things. inch brush with a little magic white and a little firm white mixed together. We're looking for a paint that's slightly thinner than what's on the canvas already so it'll stick. Maybe a touch more magic. There we are. Okay, now push off all these beautiful little leaves. Just let them hit. Sparkle in the sun. And at the same time you can reflect them right into the water. That easy. Here comes one right here. There. There they are. Look at them little rascals. Isn't that unreal that you can do that in such a quick, quick stroke? Now, very gently, whisper light. Because I could find freedom on this canvas. There we go. There's absolute freedom here. And I think we're all looking for freedom. At least I am. See how you can pull that down? Just pull it right down, and because there's, because there's liquid white under here, it mixes with it, the paint will move, and automatically it gets lighter in value. Look at that. Look at that. I knew you could do it. Mm, already, just using brush strokes, you can see all kinds of fantastic shapes in these, these mountains. And by using these brush strokes, see how you can pull out shapes 
and change them, remove them, that easy. It's a super way to lay out your entire range of mountains without being committed. You cannot make a mistake in here. Okay, now let me wash the old brush so it's nice and clean and fresh and ready. There. Don't overdo here. Don't overdo. All kinds of happy little things. All kinds of little things. There's a nice dark one back in there. Nice one. Ooh, there's a pretty one. It just stands out here and sparkles. A little bit over here. I think we've mentioned this before, but you need to have a very, very firm paint to do this. If you have a thin, oily paint, you're really going to get into some problem areas because you've become a mud mixer. You need a paint that's strong, firm, dry. Okay, we'll give this one a little shadow right there. So he stands out as an individual. Just bring this on down. Let your imagination just wander around when you're doing these things. Today, let's start out. Let's start out with a little touch of phthalo blue, and just work a little bit into the two-inch brush. To that, I'm going to add a little bit of black. So I have phthalo blue and midnight black, black and blue, black and blue. Okay, let's go right up here. Let's put a let's put a happy little sky in here. I'm just going to start at the top making little crisscross strokes and work all the way across like that. We just put a, let's just do a, a fantastic little painting day. Maybe we'll put a little mountain in it. What the heck? You know me, I lived in Alaska for about a dozen years or so and I'm just crazy about mountains. Now by starting at the top and working downward, the paint is gonna mix with the liquid white and automatically it gets lighter in value as it works down toward the horizon. See, you don't have to worry about it. Does it automatically. There we go. Like so. Now then, while we have this old dirty brush, let's go right back into the blue and black, or black and blue, whichever way you prefer. Just like so. Now, I wanna have, you know me again, I like water. So let's put a little bit of water down here. Right down here, we'll have just a little touch. Same color. Like so, maybe pull from this side. I'm gonna leave a little area open right here so it'll look like a little sheen of light coming across the water when we're finished. There we are. See how easy that is? See, if you're doing that, painting along with me, already you're a fantastic artist. Lift it and do this in circles. Don't go straight up. If you go straight up, it's going to look like it's raining upward. And that'll bother you. Now, when you, when you pull this up, you're going to pull up little stringy things sometimes. Don't worry about them, because when you do this, they go away. They just go away and leave you. Just like so. And that easy, you've got a couple of happy little floaters up here. Okay. Wash the brush one more time because I could find freedom on this canvas. There we go. There's absolute freedom here. And I think we're all looking for freedom. At least I am. See how you can pull that down? Just pull it right down. And because there's, because there's liquid white under here, it mixes with it. The paint will move and automatically it gets lighter in value. Look at that. Look at that. I knew you could do it. There. Hmm. Already, just using brush strokes, you can see all kinds of fantastic shapes in these, these mountains. And by using these brush strokes, see how you can pull out shapes and change them, remove them? That easy. It's a super way to lay out your entire range of mountains without being committed. You cannot make a mistake in here. Okay. Now, let me wash the old brush so it's nice and clean and fresh and ready. There. I just bought a 
the studio. Okay, now we'll put some snow on this mountain. Touch, follow the contour of the mountain. There we go. Mountains used to really give me a fit when I was a traditional painter. Oh, I'd spend weeks sometime working with a little brush trying to make all these things happen. Fantastic, but you can make whole mountains in minutes, and you can do it. There's no big secret to it. All you need is a dream in your heart and an almighty knife. layers of these. Just drop in another happy one right there. And you can turn that brush over and reflect some of these right into the water. Look at there. Just make all kinds of happy little reflections. Reflect that right down into the water. That's bright red, dark sienna, and yellow ochre. Yellow ochre. That color even has a nice name to it. inch brush with a little magic white and a little firm white mixed together. We're looking for a paint that's slightly thinner than what's on the canvas already so it'll stick. Maybe a touch more magic. There we are. Okay, now push off all these beautiful little leaves. Just let them hit. Sparkle in the sun. And at the same time you can reflect them right into the water. That easy. Here comes one right here. There. There they are. Look at them little rascals. Isn't that unreal that you can do that in such a quick, quick stroke? Now, very gently, whisper light. Don't want to destroy. Just want to diffuse a little. And that's how we make mirror reflections. There. Touch, follow the contour of the mountain. There we go. Mountains used to really give me a fit when I was a traditional painter. Oh, I'd spend weeks sometime working with a little brush trying to make all these things happen. Fantastic, but you can make whole mountains in minutes. And you can do it. There's no big secret to it. All you need is a dream in your heart. The old clock on the wall tells me I have to go. But you can put just the indication of some land areas right down here. Like so. We'll put a few little grassy things on this side. I think we'll call this one finished. I think this is a pretty painting which should give you a lot of ideas, and I hope you enjoy it. There we go, from all of us here, happy painting. <laughs>
Thank you.